hello friends let's do a quick unboxing review of moto x4 in 2019 so i have purchased this phone in 2019 when it was launched way back in february 2018 and the reason for that is that it gets a great set of features and specifications and right now the price for this phone is very low on amazon or flipkart so let's do a quick unboxing first uh, so this is the sim ejector toolkit that you see right now on the screen and there is this quick start guide that comes in the box and in addition to that we get a, f <coughs> a turbo charger and a usb cable and headphones so now this phone was launched at a price of 25,000 in 2018 but right now it is available on flipkart or amazon india at a price of 11,000 for the 6 gb variant and the other variants are also available at the same price uh, with a merely a difference of 500 or 1000 rupees so <clears throat> The reason for buying this phone is in 2019 is that this is available at a price of 11,000 and this phone gets IP68 water resistant rating. So this is the cheapest phone that is available in India right now that gets IP68 water resistant rating and along with that it also has decent hardware specifications like 6 GB of RAM, 64 GB of internal storage, dual SIM, uh, one SIM comes with the hybrid uh, card, memory card slot and the expandable uh, memory slot can accommodate a card of up to 2 terabytes. So that is the main reason why I bought this phone in 2019 while there are a lot of other options available which are bezel-less as well as they get decent hardware but they all lack this water resistant rating so if i have to buy a phone that is water resistant in india right now i will have to at least spend 18 or 19 thousand but this is the one that i got for 11 thousand and that sounds like a great deal so i bought this phone so <laughs> at the end of this video i will also post links to the flipkart and amazon where you can buy this phone at a price of 11,000. So uh, this phone comes with Android Oreo out of the box, but the updates are available for this phone for Android Pie as well. So as you saw just now, this phone was looking for updates when I connected this to the Wi-Fi because I have bought this phone one year late after the launch. So now the Android Pie updates are available for this phone but out of the box it comes with android o so that is why uh, it is giving me an option to upgrade to the latest android and right now i'm just trying to set up the security in this phone with the screen lock and fingerprint sensor so by the time i do more play around with this phone let's have a quick look at the specifications of this phone so this phone uh, is an aluminium frame which is encased in a glass body so uh, according to me the looks of this phone are very good it, it is available in two color option that is sterling blue and the black one the black one is the model that you see in this video right now which is called super black uh, but the other option the sterling blue also looks stunning <coughs> according to me both the colors are good so it is just a matter of your own personal choice that you want to go out with so let us take a quick look at the specifications for this phone uh, it comes with a qualcomm stack drive gun 630 processor uh, it is available in 3 gig 4 gig and 6 gig ram options but I, this phone right now is 6 GB variant and if you want to buy this phone I strongly recommend that you go for only the 6 GB one because the other <coughs> options also available at the same price and it has an internal storage of 64 GB or 32 GB for the 3 GB variant and 64 GB for the 4 or 6 GB variants and it comes with a micro SD card support so the dual sim <coughs> setup is a hybrid setup 
in one slot you can insert a sim card and the other slot you can either insert a sim card or a memory card which supports up to two terabytes this phone weighs 163 grams and it comes with Corning Gorilla Glass uh, it has a battery of 3000 milliampere uh, the battery is non removable uh, so the battery backup is decent if you do use it normally so it can take you full day long and it comes with IP68 certification and uh, this phone does not support motor modes uh, because the motor modes are supported by a different series of Motorola phones <clears throat> uh, now let's spoke, speak about the camera this comes with a dual camera setup one is a 12 megapixel shooter and the other one is an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens shooter it comes with an LED flash and the front camera is a 16 megapixel selfie shooter and it comes with a lot of other modes like panorama mode slow motion video face filters beautification mode portrait mode and a lot of other stuff uh, regarding the video recording it can record a 4k video with 30 fps for connectivity it comes with usb type c port and a 3.5 mm headphone jack so that was a quick walkthrough of basic features that this phone comes with and as i mentioned earlier the main reason for buying this phone is the price and the long list of features and the water resistant rating that we get in this smartphone all right so that was all about the specifications of this phone and regarding the water resistant uh, ip6 certification i just want to mention one more point that uh, ip68 water resistant rating does not mean that this phone is waterproof it is water resistant and if for occasional spills and for occasional drowning of the phone in the water uh, it will work fine but in case uh, the phone uh, has some issues uh, with the water so the Motorola will not take this under warranty and this IP68 rating also degrades uh, with the wear and tear of the phone so let's